This is a Squid Game rating for Gemini. Yes, trial and error is a great thing. Um, and below in the description, there's like a small recap of all the questions and the answers and a small fortune, a little cookie fortune for you. But, um, yeah, I left my actual fortunes at work, so that's how that goes. Anyway, let's get into your Squid Game reading. Hopefully you like it. It's everything to do with... Um, the New Year predictions of 2022. So it's Squid Game, New Year's prediction, tarot card reading. Amazing. Karen did it better. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, there was somebody that did the Squid Game reading, and I was just like, I got really bored, and I just tuned it out. I was just like, this is stupid. I could do a better one with my eyes closed. So here's mine with my eyes closed. <laughs> I actually did this um, while I was at work, so I was like, I'm going to do this when I get home. But anyway, so let's start with the first card, which is actually zero. This is the recruit stage. This is lust. The cost of everything in 2022. So we have the king of air, which is the, the king of swords. Um, so there's... Restlessness and lust. So, beating a dead horse, perverse, um, cruel, and habitual person. So, there might be a bit of um, a constant need to have somebody else help you out. Or have um, maybe a partner or a relative help you out with money. Um, but I, I feel like it's not going to go well. Okay? So... Hopefully, um, everything does, but I don't know. But anyway, so the second one, which is actually the first one part of the game, is red light, green light, or the hibiscus flower ha is in bloom. So this has everything to do with your success, money, and love in 2022. Yours was the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is, if I remember correctly, the gold and green hibiscus. So we have the healing, health, growth, harmony, a freshness, hope, fertility, a privilege, illumination, um, prosperity, and consciousness. So you're going to consciously go towards stuff that will make you money or be very lucky at what you're doing. Okay, so that's kind of what it means. And we also have ancient magic, modern medicine, found a strength, deep willing, and wisdom from elders. Take roots in your bones of youth. So you're... You're kind of um, going to learn something from your elders or from your parents, grandparents, uh, family, heritage. So it will come with a price because this could be a bit of a, um, a bit of a family secret, I feel. So there's that as well. So um, hopefully everything's fine. Okay, but you know, I, I don't know. Anyway, number two, we have the sugar honeycomb, which is patience. What are you looking forward to in 2022? We have the high priestess. The high priestess is the broken cookie. Now, the broken cookie is kind of like anything can happen. So it's good luck, one. So it could be good or bad luck. It really is up to you really anything can happen depending on how resourceful you are or whatever because in squid game you know you kind of have to be resourceful so um follow the fragrance of mystery and awaken ancient memories um divine messages and dreams and visions so you might actually get an intuitive message from somebody else or something else or your dreams might have everything to do with um, 
what you should do next or inspiration, something to that effect, all right? So we have number three, which is number three in the game, which is tug of war, strength, inner strength, mental wellness um, through 2022. So there's the tower. Um, <laughs> the tower is good luck. So uh, it depends on you, really. So too much stability, continuation of the old and bad ways, sloth, a bad situation that won't change imprisonment. So there's something here that is going to constantly be a cycle pattern or consistent in your lifestyle. You could be, be successful in January and then be totally broke in July. So if that's a pattern of yours, it's going to stay a pattern. If you constantly get yourself into the same type of relationships, that's going to keep going on because you haven't faced um, certain things that have gone wrong in previous relationships and you haven't totally healed from that. You kind of go from one relationship to the other. That's going to be a constant pattern as well. So you kind of have to get out of that type of situation, okay? So then you don't take it with you. Um, anyway, we have number four in the game, which is Marbles, the Talent of the Bluff. Um, what are your wishes, secrets, and hopes for 2022? We have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups, it will come to you naturally. Lift your spirits with the sense of happiness, pleasure, um, shared is pleasure multiplied. Celebrate your heart's delight. So, I feel like as as far as everything goes, I feel like everything's gonna happen relatively easily. It's just gonna be a little bit of work on your part um, in order to make that happen. If you're working towards something, you'll probably have, you know, luck at doing so. You just had to put in the work. That's all. Anyway, we have number five. Number five is going to be Hopscotch, also known as the Glass Bridge. This is courage. Will you be able to face your fears in 2022? We have the Eight of Water. The Eight of Water, um, it will come to you naturally. So happiness, joy, feasting, striving for a goal. So... This might actually be a little bit easier for you. You got the circle in this case. So you're probably not the head of the pack, but you're not really behind the pack either. So it's kind of like you're in the middle <laughs> of the glass bridge. So you're going to do fairly well. I don't feel like anything in 2022 is going to be out of your realm of um, routine. I feel like it's going to be a lot of routine. <laughs> nothing nothing really exciting is going to happen. It's like it's either pre-planned or you've done it before or it's part of your routine of everyday life. So, you know, it's probably going to be like that for a lot of people, but you know, it is what it is. Anyway, number six is Squid Game, the endurance of 2020. How will you end 2022? Uh, so 2022 stuff. All right, so we have six of cups. Six of cups. It will come to you naturally. The future goals obtainable. That which will be or which should be plans that go awry. So there's there's gonna be some things that you're gonna lose control of, and I feel like this is done by design. I feel like it's not like your fault or anything. I just feel like it's going to go awry because it's meant for somebody else. Um, but that happens with a lot of things anyway. Um, you're meant to destroy it and somebody else is meant to fix it. So, eh, let's see. Your channel message is a family monarch or matriarch. Yeah. We have a high degree of success in work. We also have help from peers, so you might be working in a group for most of the year anyway, so you're going to have to kind of deal with that constant berating of other people or the constant change of ideas. So it might 
just be like, you know, you're kind of going with it, or you're just um, trying to keep the peace. But anyway, um, Gemini, I don't feel like it's too much of a big thing. I just feel like it's it's kind of like even keel at the moment. Um, anyway, hopefully everything works out. And if you want to know more about your um, year at, um, you know, at a um, Squid Game recap in the description. Um, I actually put everything there because I had time on my hands. And hopefully future Karen did put the fortune down below in the little recap section so you kind of, kind of know what that means. But I, I never can tell. Um, so hopefully, uh, crossed fingers, it's, it's there. Um, so anyway, Gemini, I will see you in the next reading. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And uh, I'll see you next time. All right, later.